back again. Well, I'm uh, doing a lot of black pours with black backgrounds today. I think this is my second or third one. No, it's only my second. All right. So I've got my black paint out and I, uh, I'm going to do a record, small record. This is like a 33, I think. Okay, so I covered my record in black paint. This record had a um, red label and I find that the red labels are not good. They bleed. So it's best to do the red labels with black. Okay, so I <clears throat> spread my paint out. I was only going to do the label, but I ended up going all the way around. Okay, so I'm going to use red and gold. Oh, I was going to make some more gold. Well, if you want to hold on, I'll be back. Okay, I mixed my gold. So this is Artist Loft gold, metallic gold, there's some consistency. It doesn't make much of a mound in the cup, just a little one. And I got red, which is an Artist Loft uh, bright red, it's pretty red. And I'm going to try, I'm going to put a little bit of metallic black in there, I don't know. Um, what that'll be but it's an artist loft and I have a bit of metallic silver by deco art it might just disappear I don't know anyway I'm gonna give it a try and I think the only one that's not metallic was the red and I don't think I have any metallic red no no metallic red Okay, I'm excited to try this uh, sink strainer. So I think what I'll try to do, I'll put some black first. Put some gold. I guess I could have mixed these colors together and done like a dirty pour, but see what happens this way. And then some red. Oh, I hope it turns out nice. Every time you do a pour, you never know what you're going to get. It's awesome. I'm not sure whether I should put the silver near the red. Let's see what happens here. I'm not sure it's bit thin I think. I'm just going to add a bit more paint to my silver. It's looking pretty good. This is DecoArt silver metallic. a bit more of this metallic black around. No, 
almost looks like a gray, dark gray. Got me a little spot there. All right, so I have a little bit of gold left, so oh, a lump came out. Oh, what was that? What was that? Well, I'm sure it'll stay into the oh, I don't know what that was. Something came out of the bottle, I guess, off the edge.
I've been making Christmas tree ornaments. I've been putting paint inside a glass, well it's not glass, plastic ball. Swirling it around. This is silver and red. And then I just let it drain out in this cup upside down till it's dry. Or till it's almost dry anyway. And then take it out. And there's one that's quite red. I did some gold ones too. To hang on the tree. They look pretty good. I'll show you the gold one. See? Can you see? There you go. Just pour your paint in there, the same as you would on a canvas. Run it around so it's all covered and then turn it upside down into a cup until it's all drained out. You could leave it there the whole time if you want. All right, I think I'm going to take this off. Put my hand under. I left the hole open so it can drain. See, that's so much better. The, the silver just wrecked it. Maybe I can pour the silver off. That's what I should do. Look at that. Oh, it came right through the middle. I think I need to put my finger there for a bit till I finish. Look at that color. Whoa. Oh, I should have covered the hole. It's all going out. I'll keep my finger there till I'm done. <laughs> I wanted some to drain out, but not yet. Not till I'm back in the middle. I'm dripping off some of this silver. Let this come back. Oh dear, now I gotta find something to plug that hole. Drain, take some of this paint off anyway because I don't want it to crack. I like it. All right, now what am I going to do to plug this up? Can you see? There you go. There's my pour, strainer pour. I think it's awesome. 
I'm I don't I can't put this down yet till I get this organized. All right, I'm gonna put this center into the hole, and if some drains through, that's fine. There, look at that, perfect. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this dries without cracking, and come back soon. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Comment if you like to. And we'll talk to we'll talk about it later. And and I'm gonna have the dried results at the end. Okay? Bye bye. Okay. I'm back. I'm not liking the way this is moving. The outside edge is moving off. It's pretty runny. I think the silver paint didn't help anything. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna blow the outer edges and see what happens. I got my little smallest blower in the world. Anyway, you'll have to excuse a bit of noise. I'm gonna try this. Nice gold under there, sink. I'm not going to touch the center one. I'm just blending these pink colors together. Cool. looks so nice it brought the gold up there was a lot of gold hiding down in there I love this little gadget. It's awesome. I was going to tip it a bit, but... There. I like it better now. I'm just going to leave that. And let that settle. Yeah, I like that. Look, I brought the gold back up. Cool. You never know what you're going to get. So that'll settle.
I just hope it doesn't crack. There's quite a bit of paint on there, but I did get lots off, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. And I'll hold it up closer for you. Look how awesome that turned out. Way better than before. All right, I'm done now. I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I'm looking at my dried painting, the one that I blew with the sink strainer. I blew the edges out because the silver was too thin and I didn't like it, but this had dried awesome once I got that thin silver paint out of there. It stayed nice and smooth, it didn't crack, I absolutely love it. really cool. Okay. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. This is dried and it's nice and shiny. And that's two coats of the Kramer, not Kramer, but Karmer Varnish by Krylon. I think I got this at Walmart. Michaels probably sells it too. Comes out nice. That You could do three coats if you don't think it's shiny enough, but I gave it a good going over. I'll show you the other one. You can see the shine. There we go. There, it really brings out the colors in your paintings when you varnish. All right, this is my spray varnish video. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.